welcome to the next session of finite element analysis in this session i am solving another numerical of cst element for a cst element the nodal displacement vector q is given as 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 0 comma 2 comma minus 1 all these values are in mm find the element stress take e as 200 gigapascal plate thickness t is given as 5 mm and Poisson's ratio is given as 0 0.3. This is the element which is given to me. First node has coordinate 0, 0, second node has coordinate 40, 10, and third node has coordinate as 0, 30. So I will start. Now we know that stress is given by D into strain. Now this D is going to remain as it is this e can be replaced as b into u this is an equation which we have already derived now i have to find d b and u is something which is already given to me here these are the displacement values which are given so these two i have to find so i can find the value of stresses that is sigma so i will start with calculation of d this vector d is given by e upon 1 minus nu square 1 nu 0 nu 1 0 0 0 1 minus nu by 2 nu is poison's ratio and e is young's modulus young's modulus is given as 200 gigapascal so i can convert this into 2 into 10 raised to 5 newton per mm square 1 minus 0 0.3 square 1 0 0.30 0 0.31 0 0 1 minus 0.3 by 2 so i'll leave this as it is this is a 3 by 3 matrix this is my matrix d next i'll go for calculation of matrix b if you recollect the formula was 1 upon 2a beta 1 0 beta 2 0 beta 3 0 0 gamma 1 0 gamma 2 0 gamma 3 then i have gamma 1 beta 1 gamma 2 beta 2 gamma 3 beta 3 so i need to calculate these values i will write down x1 y1 which is the first coordinate given as 0 comma 0 second coordinate x2 y2 is given as 40 comma 10 and third coordinate x3 y3 is given as 0 comma 30 so i can calculate beta 1 beta 2 beta 3 beta is the difference of y terms after 1 comes 2 and then 3 after 2 i have 3 and 1 after 3 i have 1 2 when i solve this i get the value of beta as minus 20 30 and minus 10 next i'll calculate gamma 1 gamma 2 gamma 3 this is a negative difference of x terms after 1 i have 2 3 after 2 i have 3 1 after 3 i have 1 2 when i solve this i get minus 40 0 40 once I have beta and gamma, I can write down the B equation. Okay. Before that, I will just calculate 2A. 2A is given as 1 x1 y1, 1 x2 y2, 1 x3 y3. This will be 1 0 0, 1 40 10, 1 0 30. When I solve this, I get the value as 1200 mm square. This is my 2a. So when I solve and I write for b, I get 1 upon 1200. I have beta 1, which is minus 20, 0, 30, 0, minus 10, 0, 0, minus 40. 0 0 0 40 
माइनस फोर्टी माइनस ट्वेंटी ज़ीरो थर्टी फोर्टी माइनस टेन दिस इज माई मैट्रिक्स बी नाउ आई ऑल्सो नो यू सो आई जस्ट कैलकुलेट दिस मच पोर्शन ई वी नो ई इज इक्वल टू बी इन टू यू सो आई हैव वन अपॉन ट्वेल्व हंड्रेड and the matrix here i'll have the u matrix which will be u1 v1 u2 v2 u3 v3 now these values are very much given in the question first two u1 v1 second two is for node 2 which is u2 v2 and these two are u3 and v3 so when i substitute over here and i multiply i will get the matrix as 1 upon 1200 minus 20 minus 40 90. This is my E matrix. Finally, I can write down my sigma matrix. It will be D into E. So here is my D, and this is my E matrix. So I just have to multiply both of them. So I will have 2 into 10 raised to 5 upon 1 minus 0.3 square into 1200. Then I'll have 1 0.3 0 0.3 1 Zero, 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 zero point three five, and I multiply it with minus twenty, minus forty, and ninety. Now this value, this much, if I calculate, I get one eighty three point three three, and this when I multiply, this is a three by three matrix. This is a three by one matrix. These two numbers are equal. So my resultant will be a three by one matrix. I obtain the value as minus thirty two, minus forty six, and thirty one point five. Now when I multiply these two, I get the number as five eight six six. Ah, uh, it's a big number. So what I'll do is I'll just take a ten raised to three outside, and this will be minus five point eight six six. I'll have minus eight point four three three. And I have five point seven seven four. So these are the values of sigma. This will be sigma x, sigma y, and tau x y. So when I write them one to one, I'll have sigma x as minus five point eight six six kilonewton per mm square. I'll have sigma y as minus eight point four three three kilonewton per mm square. And tau x y as five point seven seven four kilonewton per mm square. So this is how the numerical is supposed to be solved. I hope you have understood the solution. With this, I end the session. See you in the next session. Thank you. Mm -hmm.